our brand new essential question this week is what happens when families work together? So I want you to think, think of some things that you do together with your family and how do you work together to accomplish that? So think of something like working outside in the yard. Do you get to help somebody in your family, one of your grown-ups, clean up the yard or rake up the grass after somebody mows or maybe making dinner together? Are you able to help crack the eggs and help make breakfast or um, maybe get the supplies out of the fridge? as someone's cooking dinner. There's lots of ways that we can help each other as a family. Just doing our part around the house is simple enough. Keeping our toys picked up, keeping things tidied around the house, and just helping our grown-ups the best way that we know how. And listening to them, and if they ask us to help, absolutely we can help. Okay, so we're gonna dive into that this week. What happens when families work together, okay? So I'm gonna go over our vocabulary words today. So we have brand new vocabulary words that we'll be writing and creating our own sentences with. Alrighty, so the first one is check. Mom will check to make sure Tina's helmet fits. Check. Next word is choose. Julian will choose a shirt to wear. Choose, so make a choice. Chores. What's another word for chores? Sierra must finish her chores before she can play. Maybe like her jobs around the house. The next word is cost. Jordan asks, how much does this shirt cost, mom? Cost. The next word is customers. The customers lined up to buy lemonade. Next word is jobs. Nurse and doctor are two jobs at a hospital. Next word is spend. William decided to spend his money on a snack. Hi, William. We have a William in our class. William decided to spend his money on snacks. The next word is tools. Uh, Tom and his dad used tools to build a birdhouse. Have you ever got to use tools and help somebody build something or maybe fix something around the house or maybe a car part or something like that? Those are kind of fun. All right, so like every week, I would like you to choose three. And you'll see, I'll list and make a list of all of your new words. And I want you to choose three of them and use them in a brand new sentence that makes sense. Again, remember to make it a complete sentence. You guys are getting so good at this. Capital letters at the beginning and, and a period at the end. If you create a question, like if you'd like to use one of these words in a question, make sure that you put that question mark at the end, okay? I look forward to reading your sentences. Send those to me in dojo, please. Have a great day.